What you know about this life? The glitz, the glimmer, the ace. Good morning, beautiful people. <laughs> Good morning, man. It's, it's Thursday. Thursday. I was about to say, it's, say it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> It's Thursday, guys, and we are feeling the soreness from yesterday's work, but we are excited and thankful that we have an opportunity to get up and do what we love on our own time. Yep, and make some money. Ooh, yeah. Make the money. So today we've got a couple of yards to go do, guys, and these are all clients that we've had for quite some time. We only got one client on the route today that's, uh, that's a new customer as far as like new this year. But yeah. Everybody else. It's real true. Yeah, they've been with us for about three seasons now. So we're excited about that. And um, I hope that everybody's having a good morning, crushing those goals, saying those prayers, and waking up grateful as always. Because I feel like that's one of the major keys to success. The is number one. Always being grateful yeah. and thankful for being alive, having another opportunity to do it again. Let's get it, man. Look, we're excited to get back out here. You know, like... Uh, LB said, I want to let y'all know LB is short for lawn bay. So y'all don't always have to say like lawn bay for the people who want to spell it out or whatever. He said in the third, I know y'all, you know, whatever. But hey, nickname LB. I yeah. call it LB. LB ski. So if y'all hear me saying LB, that just mean lawn bay. Yeah, because I just want to let people know we are a couple. We are in a relationship. Of course, y'all know that. But I'm just saying like working together in a business, you still want to be professional. Yes. So when we on the client property, I like to say either diamond or LB. Because Bay just sounds like okay, y'all being professional. I always say Drake. I'm like Drake, Drake, Drake. Yeah. But Drake always has little earpods, so he can never hear me. So I'm just always look like I'm talking to myself. I'm like Drake, <laughs> <laughs> help so, me out. There's a snake, and he's yeah. like in his own world. <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. No, All right, no. guys, we're not gonna talk too much, but um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing good, and let's go ahead and get this working. getting it started with our first yard of the day i don't know if anybody out there is dealing with bermuda grass during their season but this grass literally sheds and blows all over the place when it's dead when it's dormant i should say so right now you see me all the way bundled up in a full-on coat because once this grass starts to fly it gets all in everywhere i mean all under my skin my clothes everywhere i hate it i absolutely hate it but anyways, let me know if any of you guys are dealing with Bermuda grass and how you like it. I think it's really beautiful once it starts to bloom in the springtime. Right now we're cutting this grass on two inches and that is at the customer's request. What is the lowest that you guys would go out there? I'd really be interested in knowing. Also, how do you guys deal with grass that like blows all over the place? Even with our shoot blocker, it's still blowing out of control. So yeah guys, drop some knowledge for me down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys so much as always.
absolutely crushed it in this backyard. Look at those beautiful stripes, and I mean beautiful. Cut life, is that you? OMG. Funny story, I actually usually mow this with the stand on mower, but last week when we mowed this lawn, I kind of had a little bit of a whoopsie. I literally almost slipped and ran into those garden beds, and Drake and I had to lift the mower up and kind of like maneuver ourselves out of there. So that was a really crazy situation. Let me know your craziest mowing situation that you've had happen to you in a yard and how you got yourself out of it in the comments below. Thanks, guys. and Drake's on the back and I'm on the front, we can record simultaneously because as always, when you invest back into your business, you reap the reward. So make sure that you guys are spending your money wisely, putting it back into your business. I don't think Drake and I really do anything personal anymore. It's been a while. Yeah, not really. You know, we don't even, really shop even, or- Even cryo, even when we do shop, like we shop, but it's shopping for care. the business. Yeah. Uh, you gotta get lawn care attire. Gloves. You gotta get uh, safety, safety wear, mm -hmm. eyewear everything cryo memberships and everything like that massages so make sure y'all taking care of your body man self-care because yeah. your body is your biggest tool in this industry yep so make sure that you're you know staying active staying proactive and giving yourself that much needed love and investing back into yourself well guys we're heading on to line number two and see you guys there <laughs> guys so as i'm mowing this lawn i kind of wanted to share a bit of information about this property this is one of our oldest clients that we've had since the beginning and i really wish i could show you guys a picture of how his grass looked when we very first started servicing it i mean absolutely beautiful lawn and uh, since then he has done a lot of diy to his lawn and i would like to say i like a lot of the improvements but it's definitely taken a toll on the grass i mean none of this was here none of the rock beds um, that wild flower garden i mean there was absolutely nothing here so he's definitely done a lot to his lawn and i believe he's also been practicing some self aeration i'm not 100 percent sure or either he's been having like true green spray on his lawn but yeah guys i'd really be interested in knowing how do you guys handle when clients you know add um redesigns to their lawn do you go up on prices do you maintain the same quote um and also what do you do if you notice that a customer's lawn is suffering you know do you give them suggestions because drake and i are actually not licensed to spray we don't do fertilizer um so there's nothing really that we can do right now with this grass however we have 
truly notice the difference in the quality of the lawn and in the grass and hopefully going forward they'll stop using whatever they're using to spray the lawn and but maybe that's something we'll have to speak to them about yeah guys i absolutely hate true green do any of your clients use true green have you ever shown up to a lawn that you used to love to mow and you love seeing it like this was actually one of our display lawns and then you come back and you're like oh no you guys killed the lawn what do you do in those situations Alrighty guys, it's the last mow of the day and I'm really excited about this lawn because recently we swapped up the grass pattern and I can already tell a difference that it's making in the growth of the grass. So I'm sure we'll swap it up again next time that we come. But this is pretty much a straightforward yard. It's actually one of my favorite ones that we do because we get to knock this yard in and out in about 20 to 25 minutes, super easy. for the day it's a wrap i'm ready to eat i want some ice cream a milkshake or a donut or something <laughs> it was a long day i think we're gonna go to cryo after this if you guys are interested in seeing how cryo works check out a video on my page it's way down 
but it's a cryo video and it shows you guys what the cryotherapy is like at Icebox and the benefits of it for your skin. I can also make an updated video if that's something you guys are interested in. Just drop it in the comments below and I'll be sure to upload something for you all. As always, thanks so much for rocking with us, tuning in with us. I am Lawn Bay. This is Drake. Please make sure you subscribe. The one and only. The one and only. Gotta say the one and only. You know? You gotta say it. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel at The Lawn Bay. Follow me on Instagram at The Lawn Bay and subscribe and follow Drake. At Drake's Lawn Care on YouTube. Drake's Lawn Care on Instagram. Yeah, all that good stuff. All right, guys, my energy is like all the way down in the dumps. This girl Them is tired. tired. Feeling like noodles. Yeah, because I actually use the Turf Master now for two days in a row. And, um, and I got comfortable on that stand on. Well, yeah. That's, to pick that Turf Master. That up. Turf Master is 1,500 pounds. It's not fit. Girl, you don't <laughs> stop me. How many is it? How it's 150 see? pounds. That feels like 1,500 for my yeah, little arms. Exactly. Says the per and you've been on that blower, too, uh, yesterday cleanup. Y'all, I was <laughs> raking my back out. I'm talking yeah, about everything. The blower on my back, jumping up on the top of a retainer wall. Toting those uh, leaf bags. Leaf bags yeah. and lawn bags and all this stuff. And Get then, that workout in. Welcome to my world. Yeah, I'm definitely sore. But I feel I feel good because um, I run a lot, so my legs are strong. But being out here in the season gets my arms back strong. Ooh, Tiff's Treats and warm cookies. back strong. Yeah, so if you guys see me with wide, broad shoulders in the next coming months, just know it's all due to Drake Lawn Care. No. And um, hopefully he'll still love me the same with my wide back and my wide shoulders. I don't have no wide back, man. Stop playing. As always, we appreciate you guys. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. That you guys are out here crushing your dreams, staying blessed, staying active, enjoying this beautiful weather. Peace. Oh, peace, family. What you know about this life? The glitz, the glimmer, the aim.